The next innovation in spark plug design would occur during the 1970s as a direct result of policy changes. In 1974, the US government began to impose fuel mandates and much stricter emissions regulations which prompted the removal of lead from gasoline. Additionally, this cleared the way for the introduction of catalytic converters and the move to smaller, more efficient engines. The existing spark plug design struggled with these new requirements, forcing a major revamp. Some of the factors driving these new design considerations were shifts to broaden a plug's heat range, which made them more consistent in performance in order to prevent damage to catalytic converters. By excluding lead from fuel, the temperature required to burn off deposits had increased. However, this produced a problem at lower engine loads where combustion chamber temperatures are more moderate. Utilizing a hotter plug can contend with this but also presents the obstacle of overheating at higher engine loads. Furthermore, lead-free gasoline suffers from an increased likelihood of pre-ignition, which is a condition in which the air-fuel mixture ignites before the spark plug fires off. This could potentially lead to severe engine damage and using a hotter plug can further heighten this risk. The solution to this predicament was to revamp the spark plug's design so that they self-cleaned at lower temperatures while still functioning reliably at higher engine loads. This was accomplished by substituting the center electrode material to a copper core in addition to improving its shape. Because the central electrode is purposed to release electrons during spark events, it's also meant to be the hottest surface on the spark plug. This also makes it easier for electrons to be released, developing a localized spark formation. The electrical discharge brought on by the ionization of gases within the spark gap is known as a corona discharge, and it usually forms where the electrical fuel strength is largest within the electrode. This tends to be where the radius of a curved surface is the smallest, such as an edge or at a sharp point. Though a sharp point would erode far too quickly for practical use, the end of a copper core electrodes are designed with a sharp edge that erodes in a consistent manner. As the plug wears, the edge will slowly begin to round over reducing the strength of the spark generated. The service life of a copper core spark plug can be extended by periodically cleaning and refiling the end back to a sharp edge. Copper core spark plugs could easily achieve a service life of around 32,000 kilometers or about 20,000 miles. Over the next 20 years, other forms of spark plug ideas will be explored by manufacturers. One common alternative is the multiple ground electrode plug this arrangement extended a spark plug's service life by implementing multiple ground paths for a spark to form across. This benefit allowed spark formation to move from an eroded edge to a sharper one on the center electrode but at the cost of possibly obstructing flame development. Another notable design is known as a surface discharging spark plug. These plugs are meant for engines that cannot physically accommodate the tip protrusion found on traditional spark plugs. A well-known example of this is the face-sweeping motion of the Wankel engine. To remedy this issue, surface-discharging spark plugs have a recessed stubby center electrode that forms a spark gap to the plug's body, conferring a predominantly flat engine face. Check out my latest video on the Wankel rotary engine for more on this fascinating engine. By the 1990s, engines became more sophisticated and powerful as electronics were integrated into vehicles. Computer control ignition systems were becoming commonplace, and the demand for energetic spark generation grew with the introduction of newer high compression and force induction engines. This was achieved by relocating engine coils into assemblies that sat directly on the spark plug itself. Known as coil and plug ignition, the one coil per cylinder arrangement coupled with the shorter direct path of current flow allows for remarkably higher voltages to be used, oftentimes well past 100,000 volts. The increased voltage allowed for significantly larger spark gaps, which in turn creates stronger, energetic sparks that develop a strong, clean burn within the combustion chamber. Also around this time period, the addition of noble metal high-temperature electrode spark plugs was becoming commercially viable. These plugs are composed of center electrodes made of a thin wire of metals, such as iridium, tungsten, or platinum. Additionally, 
these class of spark plugs offered fine, extremely sharp edge electrode ends that have high melting points which were far more durable than copper core spark plugs. The inherent durability of noble metal spark plugs made them an ideal match for the new higher voltage ignition systems. This negated the requirement for regular maintenance and offering a remarkable service life of over 160,000 kilometers or about 100,000 miles. It was now possible to operate a vehicle for years without any service to the ignition system. On modern fuel injected cars, higher compression ratios as well as increased combustion timing tolerances are used to extract the most energy possible, which in turn increases power and efficiency. As an engine's rotating speed increments, triggering an ignition event slightly before the point of maximum compression within a cylinder, or advancing timing is done to give the combustion process more time to occur. Changes to the air-fuel mixture are also made to adjust for load and speed changes. Under certain conditions, uncontrolled combustion can occur as small pockets of air-fuel mixture explode outside the envelope of the normal spark-triggered combustion front. This is known as detonation and occurs when the timing is advanced too aggressively or the air-fuel trim is mismatched for the conditions within the cylinder. Though this can be mitigated by using higher octane fuel, which lowers gasoline's volatility. Generally, the engine control unit is tasked with finding an equilibrium between preventing detonation and achieving optimal combustion timing. In order to fulfill this, detonation or engine knocking had to be detected so that ignition timing and fuel trim can be tuned accordingly. To solve this issue, engine knock sensors were developed for this task and essentially function as highly tuned microphones. They would listen for the tones of sound produced on an engine block as it experiences detonation. Though the technique is uncomplicated, it's inherently inaccurate and the slow response rate limited how granularly ignition and mixture adjustments could be made. The capacity to accurately control detonation also kept combustion chamber designs moderately conservative. During the late 1990s, numerous manufacturers were studying better methods to detect detonation. The focus of this research fundamentally led to moving sensing from outside of the engine block to directly measuring each combustion event within a cylinder. The sensor that would run the system was an economical, easily serviceable part that sits directly in the combustion process, the spark plug. Because burning air-fuel mixtures become ionized and conductive shortly after a spark event, it becomes possible to repurpose the electrodes of a spark plug to measure the conductivity of the gases during combustion. This was done by sending a low voltage current through the spark plug's electrodes, where the chamber ionization can be sampled. Between spark events, the ionization curve can be measured and compared to a known clean burn set of data, allowing perfect direct detonation detection. Misfires can also be easily detected by sensing the lack of ionization. By the late 1990s, the processors within engine control units became powerful enough to perform the needed digital signal processing for ionic sensing knock detection. Commercial implementations of the technology first started to appear with Saab, and the introduction of their trionic engine management systems. This new system is known as being one of the first ion sensing ignition system on a production car. The ability to directly detect detonation at each cylinder and at each combustion phase allowed unprecedented levels of engine control, pushing forward more aggressive designs. As ionic sensing systems grew in sophistication throughout the mid-2000s, this method now allowed the spark plug to provide individual cylinder information to the engine control unit on fuel trim and peak cylinder pressure position. This level of information now allowed engine control units to quickly adjust each cylinder, improving the overall engine efficiency as well as offering a new diagnostic tool for engine service. With it already peaking in performance and reliability, the evolution of the spark plug will likely soon reach its end with the coming decades as battery technology improves and the automotive industry as well as the market further embraces electric vehicles. Ironically, it was electricity that pioneered the emergence of the internal combustion engine and will likely usher in its end.